had done two three concepts with you uh, in the last class for SKM. First was setting up the equilibrium condition. I set that up. We did it diagrammatically. And the third very important part was start looking at multipliers. Okay. So this is what we had done. Now what we need to do today. So the first task for my today's class is that uh, the C plus I plus G approach. This is called the. So this is continuing with SKM. The C plus I plus G approach is called the ADAS approach. We can also, it is also called the um, actual expenditure versus planned expenditure approach. So this approach is called the actual expenditure versus planned expenditure approach or it is called the ADAS approach. Now, the same thing can be done in another manner, which makes it easier in some ways to look at what is the level of aggregate savings and aggregate investment? In this, when we use the ADAS and the actual expenditure, uh, planned expenditure approach, what you get very nicely is equilibrium income, right? This is the level of equilibrium income. This is the multiplier. Very easy to take out. Now, the second approach is similar, but it goes a step beyond because then we not only are able to easily calculate the value of equilibrium income, simultaneously, we're also able to equally calculate what is the level of, level of aggregate savings and investment in this economy. So the level of aggregate savings and investment is more easily calculated using the second approach, which is why we also need the second approach. So now I'm going to quickly introduce to you the second approach. The second approach is called the savings investment approach. As I said, it not only gives me the aggregate Y star, it also gives me the aggregate savings in the economy. Okay, aggregate investment we all know because it is fixed, but it also gives me the aggregate savings and the aggregate investment in the economy. Okay, now savings is equal to investment approach care, very simple. First of we can take a two-sector model. Two-sector model meaning only two sectors. Which ones are Consumption and investment. We have, what have we done? We have removed government. Okay, so two-sector model. We have government ko hata diya. We are saying that only two sectors are. So government ko hata diya means we have tax ko bhi hata diya. Okay, so no government, no tax. Okay, government or tax ko hata diya ek baar ke liye. So now what do we have? Y is equal to C plus I. Now I can write Y minus C is equal to I. Bhi now Y minus C is equal to I. Y minus C is nothing but that part of income which is not consumed. Jo hum income mein se consume nahi karte hai, kya karte hai? We save it. Okay. So usko hum savings bolte hai. So hum Y is equal to C plus I ko. S is equal to I bhi lik sakte hai. It is one and the same thing. Okay. So this is called the savings is equal to investment equilibrium. So ab ye equilibrium nikle ga kaise? So savings function hai. Investment is constant, but savings is a function. What is the savings function? Y minus C. Okay. What is C? C consumption. We can write consumption function C bar uh, plus small c into Y. Okay. Let's open the brackets. Minus C bar minus small c into Y. Let us segregate it. Minus C bar plus one minus small c into Y. So, ye kya ban gaya? Jaise ye consumption function tha. This was the consumption function. Ab hum ek savings function define kar diya. What is the savings function? Minus C bar plus 1 minus C into Y. Correct? Same function hai bilkul. There is an intercept. Intercept kya tha? Agar when, when Y is equal to 0, to savings kitna hua? Minus C bar. Matlab, agar income baut kam hai, to we borrow money na? Because we have to spend. So when income is 0, we are borrowers. That is why savings is minus C bar. And then, what is the MPC? Uh, sorry, MPS, marginal propensity to save. As income increases, Saving increases by 1 minus C, and that is called small s. So, we have introduced small s, which is called marginal propensity to save, which is nothing but 1 minus small c. So, if small c is 3 fourth, if we consume 3 fourth income, we will save 1 fourth. Karenge. So, small s is simply 1 minus small c. Okay, so just see this. I am going to turn this page. Okay, so what do we do? A savings function defined kar liya. minus c bar plus small s into y which is also written as plus 1 minus small c into y. So, this okay? so, savings function. Bana diya. Equilibrium condition kya thi? Savings is equal to investment. So, yeah, equilibrium condition. This is just this much. So, abham, if we draw the savings function, anybody can tell me how will the savings function look like? This is your savings function. Mere, jo intercept, hai, intercept is going to be negative say. Minus C bar, right? And slope kya hai? Start from negative and the slope is going to be positive. So, ye mera savings function hai. Okay. 
it starts from negative but slope is positive so minus c bar se aise and so savings function i have drawn it should be equal to investment abhi investment to constant hai to kuch bhi ho sakta hai koi bhi value to ek i by value le lete hain and a constant line aa gayi okay so ye ho gaya investment function constant mera okay so savings is equal to investment approach se we can get an equilibrium acha maine iske axis batana aapko bhul gayi yahan par y hai and yahan par savings and investment hai okay this is output on the y axis and savings and investment on the x axis sorry output on the x axis and savings and investment on the y axis so jab savings is equal to investment hai matlab minus c bar plus small s into y is equal to investment so basically small s into y is equal to i bar plus c bar and y star is i bar plus c bar upon small s which is 1 minus c so y star ki value is i bar plus c bar upon 1 minus c ye same hai ad is equal to investment approach se right y star ki value same hai kyunki ultimately same hi hai sab kuch okay so we are writing it as savings is equal to investment say so point is savings is equal to investment karenge to bhi yahi y star ki value aayegi usko hum ad is equal to as karenge to bhi yahi y star ki value aayegi so y star ki value jo hai dono mein same hai the value of y star is the same in both so what is the benefit of this approach benefit is the level of aggregate savings that i said jab maine y star ki value ko savings function mein dala to mujhe total savings in the economy bhi pata chal gayi which will always going to be invest equal to investment in equilibrium okay so listen to this part carefully the total savings in the economy which is given by the savings function the value of savings is given by the savings function so y star jab main dalungi in the savings function i will get the value i'll get the value of aggregate savings right but that is always going to be equal to the investment aggregate investment so savings is equal to investment so this is actually the point this is actually the point of aggregate savings which is equal to aggregate investment okay so savings is equal to investment approach not only gives me the y star value it also gives me the s star and the i star value is this part clear sabko samajh mein aa gaya hai